Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Inside the Hornet's Nest. I'm Jeff Beavers and my co-host, Miss Donna Bowles. And Donna, tell us who we have uh, to interview today. It's my pleasure. We have Chelsea High School senior, Jacob Tierney. He just happens to be one of my neighbors. <laughs> so we are, we live in the best subdivision there is. And of course I'm about to leave it, but we're, we're so happy to have you, Jacob, on with us today. And we're just gonna ask you a little bit about um, senior year and about basketball and uh, your plans now going forward. So welcome and um, let's just jump right in. Um, Jeff, you wanna start or you want me to start? You can, hey, ladies first. Okay. Well, okay, so let's talk about basketball first. I wanna talk about that. So how long were you playing basketball? Uh, I started third grade, I think, maybe second. So it's been a long ride. Yeah, that is, that's seven years? Yeah. Okay, that's a long time. So I got the opportunity to see you play a lot, your senior year especially, uh, being um, doing the radio broadcast. So that was quite, exciting and you are just an amazing player it was it was really great watching you play you. um so tell us some highlights of basketball season some things that you really enjoyed um so during the summer i actually had a chance to participate in the elite 100 over at hoover high school and so i got selected for that and that was like a day-long event that i really enjoyed and at first i was a little hesitant but then once i got into it it became really fun and then over Christmas break, I think it was after New Year's, we went down to Mobile and had a tournament there. And I think we came in third or fourth, so it was good. And what position, what position do you play? Did you play? Um, I kind of got moved around to pretty much every position except for center, because I'm a little too short for that. But I was guard, forward, and just anywhere Coach B wanted me to be, I was there. So how tall are you? I'm about 6'1". That is not short, <laughs> is it? I mean, maybe it is in basketball, but I mean, Jeff, how tall are you? Oh, so now we're picking on me? <laughs> so, That's not uh, short. <laughs> what has drawn you to basketball more so than any of the other sports? I think just trying to make a name for myself because playing baseball, my older brother, Daniel, he played baseball throughout high school. And so I kind of wanted to separate myself from him. And so I found basketball as a way to do that. And I guess it worked out. Well, yeah, most definitely it has. I was uh, speaking with your head coach, uh, Coach Bumball, mm -hmm. um, not too long ago. And he told me a story that uh, I want you to elaborate on for me, if you would. Okay. He said that uh, midway through the season, uh, I forgot what game it was, maybe Helena, that you guys were coming back from the game, getting off the bus, and you asked Coach Bumball to uh, uh, to take you out of the starting rotation mm -hmm. because you didn't feel that you were performing uh, your best. Mm -hmm. First of all, that's very admirable. Um, you don't find many athletes, regardless of the level, that are willing to be um, selfless like that to do something like that. So explain what happened and and why you decided to uh, uh to talk to him about that um so i believe it was after the clay chalkful game and we were coming back and so one of my friends he was pulled up he was a starter for the whole season and coach b wanted him to come off the bench and going throughout the season like from the start to the end i was like I'm gonna do whatever it takes for us to be successful and have us in the right position. And so I felt like I wasn't playing enough and he deserved to have the starting spot. And I knew I could come off the bench and still help the team out. And so I just talked to Coach B and I was like, look, I don't think I'm doing so well right now. And for the betterment of the team, I think I need to come off the bench to move on and hopefully that will work out and I'll just take whatever opportunities are given to me. Because it really, what matters is the final five on the court during the fourth quarter, not who starts and comes off the bench. So 
if I'm there during the fourth quarter when the game matters, then that's all I can ask for. What was his reaction? He accepted it. I think he saw that as I'm not going to be one of those players that it's just ego and somebody who's actually there for the team. Tell me if uh, what you were doing when you found out that, hey, we're not going back to school anymore. Uh, you know, this is it because your senior year has, has been cut short. Mm -hmm. um, well, first thing I did was I used my seven day free trial for Disney Plus and <laughs> binge watched The Mandalorian in about two days, which I could have used it in one, but I was watching another series. And so after that, I was just hanging out with friends until the um, shelter in place came in effect. And I mean, it hit whenever it first was announced because I was like, how am I gonna see all the friends that I've made at the high school? And so it's been a little weird and the adjustment's been a hard, but I think we'll get through it. And I already have plans to meet some of my friends before we go off to college, so. If you could give a message right now to anybody, whether it be um, a fellow player, you know, one of your teammates, um, another student, a coach, a teacher, somebody in the administration, anybody at Chelsea High School mm -hmm. um, that you had not been able to speak with yet, or maybe you haven't given them a special message, what would you say to that person right now? There's been a lot of people that have impacted me, so I gotta figure it out. Probably um, Miss Miss Riley or Miss Acton. Uh, we were neighbors with them, and we've just kind of grown up together. And she became a teacher at the high school, so she's been someone that I can go to and talk to whenever I'm something big happens, whenever I'm low. And so I'd like to thank her and allow her to know that I do respect her and I can't wait to see her again. Shannon is so sweet. Mm -hmm. Love her. She's just precious. Well, um, gosh, we want you to know, I mean, when we thought about this, we, we got together and talked about, you know, getting together with the seniors mm -hmm. and we just wanted to to let all of you know that you're just so special to us, the, the entire class of 2020. Um, and we're just trying to just make you all feel special by, you know, just talking to you and just letting your voice be heard. Is there anything else that you want to, to say to anybody, maybe your parents even? Um. <laughs> you guys, is your, I is your, it. love you. Is your dad holding up cue cards on what to say? <laughs> um, I'd like to shout out all my family up in New Jersey. I love you guys, Tierney's, Jakonski's, shout out Uncle Tim, love you. So that's about it. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about you. You're actually involved or have been involved in the peer, the peer helpers and the uh, Big Brother Big Sisters program, uh, yes, how has you being shut in, beside the obvious, affected that? And and tell me how you got started and a little bit about that. During middle school, eighth grade year, I applied to be a peer helper for them, and after doing that, I got, I just loved it so much that I was like, I want to do this in high school. And so sophomore year, I applied, got interviewed, and got accepted into the group. And at that point, there's 30 kids, or yeah, there's 30 kids, 15 seniors, 15 juniors, and you're just a group of people. But by now, we've become family, and it's hard not seeing them because we've spent so much time with each other that we have like literally become a family. And so we still text and we have a group chat going and I just love them so much. And then with Big Brother Big Sister, that's a organization that we um, work with and we go to Forest Oaks and hang out with our littles who are little kids at from I think first grade to fifth grade. And they've actually, that's been one of the bright parts of Beer Helpers because you don't realize like how happy you can make them and how much impact they actually have on you because I know that just seeing a smile it always lightens my day that's awesome and these kids are probably a little taller than I am right <laughs> yeah 
I think there's a couple of them. <laughs> All right. So what are you going to be doing after graduation? Where are you headed? I'm going to UAB and I'm going to major in kinesiology and hopefully I'll become sports medicine. And I want to move up to Philadelphia and work with one of the professional teams up there. So Jacob, thank you so much. Um, as I said before, we, we just, We've just been thinking about y'all and we will continue to think about the class of 2020 and we're just praying for y'all and we know that you're going to do big things and everything that's happened through this um, COVID-19 shutting everything down is not going to do anything to call what you're going to do in the future. We know that um, the class of 2020 is going to do big things so we're thinking of you and we're praying for you and um, we're just rooting for y'all. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you being on. You're Have welcome. a good day. You Thanks. too. Bye, buddy. Bye-bye.